What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video, following popular request, we're going to talk about what is the best version to be on if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible. And we're talking about the iOS 12.1.3 all the way up to iOS 13 beta range. So quite a lot of versions in there. Currently, just as a recap, we do have some TFP0 exploits that have been achieved, but none of them have been released. However, there are chances these will be released, but not all of them have the same iOS versions that they support. So it's better to stay on a proper version. And if you remember, Ned Williamson posted this just a few weeks ago. He said, quote, I managed to get kernel task port using only CVE 2019-8605 for iOS 12.2 tested on iPhone 6s plus. Still needs quite a bit of work for stability. Now this is proper TFP0 kernel task port. So this would definitely be usable for a jailbreak on iOS 12.2 and lower. But that basically means iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3. So no 12.3 and no 12.3.1 and also no 12.4 beta. So these definitely not supported by Ned Williamson's bug. However, from this standpoint, staying on iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4 or 12.2 is the best option for the moment. Because this is actually a TFP0 exploit that was achieved with a bug that has already been patched. So if you go ahead and here on the security contents of iOS 12.3, which were posted back on May 13, you can see that the uh, kernel bug is indeed listed in here. So it's already been patched in iOS 12.3. Incidentally, iOS 12.3 is currently signed and you can downgrade to it, but it's not going to be very useful because Ned Williamson's bug has already been patched in there. So it says in here that the impact is a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with system privileges. This is actually enough for a jailbreak. It's a TFP0 exploit, so it's definitely usable. But as I said, only on iOS 12.2 and lower. The exploit itself is indeed usable, but it would still need a little bit more work for stability and it's also not published for the moment. However, I do believe that he might publish this in the future because CVE 2019-8605, the bug that he reported that he based his exploit on, is actually already patched. There is no reason to keep it private. There is no reason to keep it as a zero day because it's no longer a zero day. It's already been patched, reported and all that jazz. So at this point, he might as well even release it, but we do not have any information on any release for this particular vulnerability for the moment. However, Sparky, the developer behind the Meridian jailbreak, has also achieved quite a lot of steps towards a jailbreak for iOS 12.4, 12.3.1, 12.3, and even iOS 13 beta. So yeah, just a few days ago, he got successfully SSH on iOS 13, which is actually massive. He got Secure Shell, so definitely a lot. And he also got Cydia running perfectly fine on iOS 13 and iOS 12.4. So he does have a different TFP0 exploit, which seems to be working with iOS 13 and iOS 12.4 for sure, and possibly with iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 as well. However, I do not expect any release for the moment because this is not a patched bug. On Ned Williamson's case, he already has the uh, bug patched by Apple. He reported it to Apple. So yeah, if he releases it, no big deal. It's already patched. So there is really no point in keeping it private. However, Sparky's bug is not patched. It works with the latest beta of the iOS 13. So I do not see any releases for this, at least until iOS 13 is out. But it does support more iOS versions, including iOS 12.4 and iOS 13. So that would definitely be a better exploit in terms of devices that it supports. However, there are less chances of it to be released sooner. So for the moment, the best version to be on will be iOS 12.2. If you're not running iOS 12.2, then 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 would definitely be good. Now, if you're running iOS 12.3 and 12.3.1, there will be a jailbreak in the future, but that may take even more time than the iOS 12.2 and 12.1.4 jailbreak. So yeah, if you want a fast jailbreak and if you want it quicker, then iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 would definitely be better. If you're already past them, unfortunately, you cannot downgrade to them. So all you can do is to not update further. If you're running 12.3, that is fine. If you're running 12.3.1, that is fine, stay there. Do not update to 13 or to 12.4. And I would definitely recommend staying on iOS 12.3, just in case. But that's only if you are already up. If you are running iOS 12.2 or 12.1.4 or even 12.1.3, then do not update. Those are the best versions to be on because there are already a ton of bugs for them. They are already jailbroken to heck and beyond privately. And I do believe that there will be a jailbreak for these versions faster than for the latest versions. So yeah. 
those are the best for the moment. For more information, you can check out our forum, Jailbreak Central, where you can ask questions related to Jailbreak. You can see Jailbreak news, and also you can have discussions about iOS, Jailbreak setups, and Jailbreak tutorials. Check it out in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.